My name is John Mwansa. I'm technical advisor to the Barbados Water Authority. This year is part of the World Water Week. We have chosen to do a heritage walk which retraces the route of the pipeline that supplied water to Barbados uh, in terms of public water supply for the first time from since 1861. Prior to 1861, there was no public water supply system in Barbados. Everybody was dependent on getting water from springs, depressions, or if you had a plantation that had a well, you used a bucket to pull the water out, and that was your source of supply. But after the 1854 cholera outbreak, which killed more than 20,000 people. That created serious uh, concerns about the potable water and sanitary conditions in Bridgetown. So in 1858, the Water Works Act was passed, which allowed for the formation of a private company called the Barbados Water Works Company that was charged with the responsibility of providing a public water supply to Bridgetown. Two years prior to that, an, an initial investigation was done as to the potential sources of uh, water. And the areas considered were Police Spring, Coles Cave, Hyson's Cave, uh, Baker Spring, as well as uh, the Coddington College Spring. But in reviewing those options, it was decided that they would need equipment to pump the water. And so a gravity option was chosen. And this gravity option actually involved capturing the spring water in Newcastle Woods um, in St. John, at a location that is named Ben Spring and piping that water by gravity to Bridgetown. Two reservoirs were constructed as part of that scheme. One at Pollard Plantation, but that reservoir was also sometimes called Vineyard Reservoir. The old Vineyard Reservoir, which was used for this program, has actually been abandoned and the new Vineyard Reservoir was constructed about uh, half a mile away from that, which is what we are now using. Then you had a reservoir at Hansen and a reservoir at Grandview, just between the Ministry of Education audiovisual offices and Springer Memorial School. So the water emptied into the two reservoirs by gravity right up into Bridgetown. The first sandpipe was at the fountain that is now uh, just next to the public library. For this heritage walk, we will be starting the hike from the public library and walking all the way back 26 kilometers or 15.6 miles to Ben Spring. And that will give people a good idea and understanding of the ingenuity involved in supplying water along a 26 kilometer pipeline into Bridgetown. If you look at the old uh, maps when the Waterworks uh, Department of Government was created, the pipeline was extended eventually to whole town, and that was all gravity. So we have a good heritage of public water supply. Some great information there being shared by Dr. John Mwanza. And there's more to come right here on Water Wednesdays. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website. You can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages and please subscribe to our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube. You can find us there.